Welcome back to Living Local. It's the one year anniversary of Living Local and to continue the celebration, we wanted to give you a peek behind the scenes at how the show comes together every day. Take a look. Hey guys, today we're taking you on a look behind the scenes of the making of Living Local. Now, if you're new to us, allow us to introduce ourselves. Living Local launched here on Local 4 WHBF TV on October 15th of 2018. So we're celebrating our year anniversary, as you know. This is a lifestyle program. It airs between 2 and 3 p.m. in the afternoon. It's an hour-long program. And what we do is we invite experts to come on our show to offer strategies to improve your life. And we also spotlight the people, the places, and the things that make the Quad Cities a great place to do life. All right, let's get this tour started. So if you've ever been a guest here on Living Local, you know that you'll come up to our main door here and then we have a little button that you'll buzz. And then you'll be granted access into the new station. All right, and then we make it to our station lobby here. We have some nice seats. You'll be greeted by our receptionist, Marsha. Um, you can take a look at all the posters of our broadcasters. And uh, I think I know this lady over here. I don't know, she looks kind of familiar. <laughs> and all of our guests are listed on our message board here as they walk into the lobby. So in the lobby, our guests are greeted by our client experience coordinator, Michelle. And Michelle will escort all of our guests upstairs to the second floor. Um, and we're all about our steps here on Living Local. As you can tell, this is just flight one of stairs. Our guests always definitely get their workout. Here on the second floor is where the Living Local offices are. Let me introduce you to our brand new producer of the show. We have Heather, this is her office. She's working hard on the show. Heather, as a new team member, what are you most excited about to be here on Living Local? I think um, hearing the excitement in the guests when we book them and seeing the excitement when they come on the show and they getting all the f positive feedback when they, they air from family, friends, our viewers, it, it's an awesome, great thing. Yeah, well, we are super pumped to have you here. Uh, Heather is a Quad Cities native. She's lived here her whole life, so she has a lot of great contacts and she lives and bleeds Quad Cities. Yes, I do. <laughs> all right, guys, let's take a look into my office. Uh, it might be a little bit messier than normal, so this is where I work and yes, I'm one of those people who I have a standing desk and um, normally I'm rocking my office shoes which people make fun of me for but I'm all about comfort here. Um, this is where I'll get ready for the show, I will write the show, produce segments for the show as well as book guests for the show and that's a look at my office. Over here to the right of my office is our digital manager Katie. She is a huge asset for the show. She is responsible for all of our web content so whenever you see videos online, web articles, that is Katie's job. She also has a ton of fabulous ideas to make the show better every day. So after our guests pass by the second floor, they will go up, yes, a second flight of stairs. I told you we're all about getting our steps here on Living Local. Um, and after the steps, we have this wonderful ramp that goes up into the studio. So all of our guests will trek up here. Now we're gonna migrate to the green room. Now this room is where our guests come and sit down. They relax, have a refreshing bottle of water and wait for their turn to be recorded for the show. All right, we're here in the new studio, which we share with our morning news department. They do a live news broadcast from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we have to be quiet before we bring the guests in after the morning newscast. And at 9, you can see Asha doing the weather behind me. And speaking of Ash, he pulls double duty after doing four hours of mm, morning weather. So much fun. So much fun, Ash. Uh, you do pull double duty and tell us a little bit about the transition from the newscast to living local. Oh man, well, uh, I gotta change clothes. Uh, I don't, you know, we keep it a little more casual on <laughs> living local. I don't like to wear a tie quite as much, but uh, we just make the transition, go back, do my quick change, come back in and, and get ready, read over uh, what we got on tap for every day and living local. Yeah, so after a year, as you reflect back, uh, since we launched on October 15th of 2018, 
What has been your favorite part about co-hosting the show with me? I, I think probably the, the best thing about it is getting to learn about all the good that people are doing in the Quad Cities. We get to hear from a lot of local nonprofits, and the good that they're doing to try to make this a better place. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best parts. And then just learning about all the fun things that go on. So I knew a lot about the Quad Cities before Living Local started, but now just so much more. Yeah. Love it. It was great to be on the morning show with you, and it's been awesome to have you as my partner in crime on year. Living Local. Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to take you to the control room. This is where our crew members, they're going to preview and monitor all the audio, all the video, the graphics for a Living Local show. So take a look. This is kind of a behind the scenes look. Our show director, Crystal, is getting ready for our show right now. And actually, Crystal has been a guest on Living Local for her soap making. So you wear many different hats. But uh, what was it like to be a guest on Living Local? Uh, being a guest on Living Local, it was a really cool opportunity to get in front of the camera since I know how everything works behind the camera, so that was just a really cool opportunity. Yeah, it was awesome to have you as a guest on the show, Crystal. Um, what is it like directing the show? Directing the show is also cool, you know, I get to see everything that's going on, observe, you know, all of it, and being in front of the camera too, you know, that helped me to understand more, you know, what the guests, what you're going through, Brittany. <laughs> Well, you did a fantastic job both on camera, off camera here behind the scenes. Uh, Crystal has a lot of duties. I mean, just look at all of these buttons right here. It's a little overwhelming, but you're killing it, girl. Well, thank you, Brittany. <laughs> all right, now it is time for lights, camera, and action here on Living Local. So every day, Ash and I host five guest segments as well as a daily dish segment where we talk about trending topics. Now, let me introduce you to a couple vital team members who work behind the scenes. We have Dave and Angie. They are our camera operators. So, uh, Dave, you always bring such a lightheartedness behind the scenes. You're awesome with the guests. What do you love about working for Living Local? I think what I like the most is like when you come into work in the morning, you never know what you're going to expect. You come in or there's a music act or, oh, there's food here today. It's, so that's what I like the most. It's the randomness and the fun of it. Right, we definitely keep our crew on their toes, and Angie does a lot for this show. So she is also my photog. We go on location together. You work on camera here in studio, and you also edit all of the packages and the videos for the show. So this woman has a massive role in the show. What do you enjoy the most about Living Local? Um, the one thing I enjoy the most about Living Local is being able to promote the Quad Cities. I feel I grew up here, and I went through that stage where everyone's going to college, and they. I'm leaving this town, I got better things, and I was always the cheerleader for the Quad Cities, and it's nice to see it all come like full circle. Now I'm able to do it for a career and tell everyone how great it is to live here. That's awesome. You have been a great team member for me to be the cheerleader for the Quad Cities. Dave, you also rock as well. Woo woo! All right, guys, that has been a look behind the scenes here on Living Local. We are always looking to improve our show to benefit our community. So if you ever have a segment idea for the show, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can email us at at livinglocal at whbf.com and we'll see you on the next show. All right, that is a peek behind the scenes of the making of Living Local. And to note, I did not mean to leave Angie hanging with the high five at the end. Love that Angie girl, she's amazing. We'll have this video posted on our quadcities.com. More Living Local returns after this.